Tashdile, this is Sakina Bhatt and welcome to Tibet This Week. A weekly news on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Central Tibetan Administration. Let's look at the headlines. His Holiness the Dalai Lama stresses on importance of education in understanding working of the mind. If our planet is to be sustained, environmental education must grow, says His Holiness the Dalai Lama. His Holiness the Dalai Lama wishes Dr. Manmohan Singh a speedy recovery from COVID-19. Si Kyung embarks on U.S. farewell tour. Tibet TV announces Flim Outsourcing and Take Off Flim Grant 2021. European Parliament observes Tibet Lobby Day. Gelsan Gelsen Bawa takes charge as new representative of Office of Tibet, Taiwan. In His Holiness the Dalai Lama's message on finding peace of mind, His Holiness spoke about how it is not enough to just pray and stressed on the importance of education in understanding the workings of destructive emotions and ways to tackle them. Just to pray, God, not sufficient. We must have knowledge when about anger comes, then uh, use our intelligence and reduce the intensity of anger. Karuna, increase compassion, then anger automatically reduces. Similarly, on Earth Day 2021, His Holiness appealed to the people of the world to take care of the environment as an essential part of our daily lives. Stating his personal experience, His Holiness mentioned how he realized the purity of Tibet's environment only after coming to exile and how modern material development has contributed to the degradation of life across the planet. His Holiness the Dalai Lama wrote to the former Indian Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh to express his sympathy and concern upon the news of the former having tested positive for COVID-19. His Holiness prayed for Dr. Manmohan's swift recovery and expressed his hope to see an early end to this pandemic. Si Kyung Dr. Lopsang Singhe of the Central Tibetan Administration embarked on an official trip to New Delhi and the U.S. on Friday last week. Si Kyung made a courtesy visit to Washington, D.C. to meet with the newly elected members of the Biden administration. For the first time ever, senior officials of the State Department and USAID convened at the Office of Tibet, D.C. Si Kyung will also visit and bid farewell to the Tibetan communities in the U.S. Tibet TV, the Department of Information and International Relations, CTA, has announced this year's FLIM Outsourcing and Takeoff FLIM Grant. Tibet TV has been undertaking this project for the last four years to encourage budding Tibetan filmmakers in the exile community to make short feature or documentary films for Tibet TV. The theme given for this year's film grant is Tibetans Remembering Journey into Exile. Aspiring filmmakers can avail a total grant of 2.5 lakh rupees. For more detailed information, you can visit the official website www.tibet.net. Tibet Lobby Day in European Parliament saw discussion on ways Tibetan Buddhists in Tibet are denied Buddhism, Tibetan nomads are denied their animals and grasslands, and Tibet is denied to the Tibetans. Six Tibetans from various countries in Europe took part in the Tibet Lobby Day with members of Tibet Interest Group in the European Parliament on Monday this week. Member of European Parliament Mikulas Peksa from the Czech Republic and President of Tibet Interest Group, Member of European Parliament Hans Hedi, Member of European Parliament Osra Meldikin, and Mr. Alex Sari, Assistant to Catalonian Member of European Parliament, heard the Tibetan presentations. The Tibetan speakers spoke on various topics ranging from freedom of religion importance of education and Tibetan language, to the environment and importance of the Tibetan plateau. Members of Tibet Interest Group voiced the aggressiveness of Chinese influence in the European Union and also appealed to Tibetans not to self-immolate. Representative Tashi Finsok spoke on CTA's foreign policy, 
responsibilities of the office of Tibet in Brussels and the middle way approach. Gelsang Gelsang Bawa, former Chinese liaison officer, office of Tibet Canberra, formally took charge as the new representative of office of Tibet Taiwan from outgoing representative Dawa Tsering during a brief handover ceremony held on Thursday this week. Since arriving in Taiwan, Representative Kelsang Gelsen paid a series of courtesy calls on eminent dignitaries, including a visit to Foreign Minister Joseph Wu on 16th April and met a number of Tibet supporters and groups and representatives of local Buddhist institutions. Prior to his appointment, he served as the Chinese Liaison Officer, Office of Tibet Canberra, since 2017. He also served as an elected member of the 14th and 15th Tibetan Parliament in exile. So much for this week. See you next time and have a good weekend.